Pharma Ventures, experts in deals and alliances. Hello and welcome to Pharma Ventures Insights coming to you from Barcelona. Immuno-oncology is probably the hottest area in cancer drug development today. And most companies are focusing on the use of antibodies to target PD-1, PD-L1 and other entities. One company that's taking uh, a dual approach is ITOS Therapeutics, where they're using small molecules and antibodies to modulate the immune system, unlike other companies around there. From ITOS is Christoph Kaver, who's joining me today. Christoph, welcome. Thank you. Um, ITOS Therapeutics. Um, I think the IT stands for immunotherapy, but perhaps you could tell us a little bit about your company. Indeed. So ITOS Therapeutics is uh, named out of IT for immunotherapy and EOS, the goddess of dawn. Uh, we are an immuno-oncology focused company, uh, started in 2012 from uh, one of the pioneering institutes uh, in Europe for immuno-oncology, the place where the, the first tumor-specific antigen were actually um, cloned and understood at the, the Duve Institute in, Bar in Brussels, and also a spin-off of the Ludwig Institute of Cancer Research. So you said tumor-specific antigen, and that was a, a sort of a goal for a lot of companies if we could find the tumor specific antigen and uh, is there a tumor specific antigen <laughs> or at least uh, not specific but indeed tumor antigens uh, right. so ex presented on mhc class one and important for the killing uh, by t cells of tumor cells okay and uh, immune oncology is is really is it's, it's the buzz of the moment particularly mm -hmm. in, in oncology and there are lots and lots of immuno oncology companies that are all I, I, I think there were 95 trials ongoing at any one time I think recently maybe even more you more than that more yes, than indeed, that yeah. yes we are speaking hundreds hundreds of trials mm -hmm. um, uh, well, what what are you doing how do you differentiate yourself um, I believe we've just scratched the surface with regard to what we can do in immuno oncology uh, you have to to realize that uh, even within an indication which is favorable to immuno-oncology like melanoma, it's only about 50 to, let's say, 50% of the patient that actually benefit from the therapy of immuno-oncology. Uh, so certainly there is room to improve. Uh, one of the areas where ITOs want to, to have a stronger play is in converting tumors that are not actually set up to respond to immuno-oncology, they are not infiltrated by lymphocytes. We want to transform them into the tumor that will actually respond to immuno-oncology drugs. So we want to reboot, re-engineer the uh, de novo immune response in order to make those tumors then benefit from those treatments. We are also among the, the few companies that are pursuing both small molecule, uh, so chemistry, and also antibody therapeutics. We want to focus again on the biology and chasing the right targets. So are you doing this combination or are you, you monotherapy? We have a, a portfolio of uh, five programs. Um, the goal first is to get to a candidate drug, and indeed we will be, as everybody else, interested in, in the combination with other assets and within our assets. But we do small molecules. So IDEO1 is a small molecule inhibitor that is now in phase one, uh, partner with Pfizer. Uh, we have an adenosine uh, A2A inhibitor program uh, that is in uh, preclinical development. But we've also developed antibody, uh, one targeting TIGIT, another one targeting galatin 3. So we, we are able to, to, to even the risks of drug discovery by really looking after the best biology and, um, um, and taking into, our, into account risk of around small molecule development, but also antibody that different challenges. And will, will you be using biomarkers to, to help you guide your therapies? Indeed. Or? indeed. Uh, for our adenosine project, for example, we've lined up both uh, target engagement biomarker, but also patient selection biomarker that will allow us to move, I would say, faster, but also more safely into the clinic as uh, we will zoom on the patient population in which the biology is more likely at play. And do you think for the... For the the, the, the breadth of, of treatments that are in development for the immuno-oncology um, uh, mode of action, 
that we're going to ultimately end up with a whole raft of new cancer treatments, or there'll just be three or four which will win out and they'll be blockbusters. It, it, it's, it's speculative, I know, but if, yeah, if, you, were, if you were guessing, well, what, do you, what do you think? Well, being focused on immune oncology, I would rather have the, the, the first opportunity where there's a range of mm. treatments. The phase one uh, started in September 2016. This is piloted uh, by our partner Pfizer mm -hmm. uh, with the IDO1 inhibitor. And that... that um, Obviously, the end point there is safety. Do you expect to see a, some sort of efficacy signal in that? Or? Uh, this would be wonderful. Um, do you expect, we don't have that expectation for uh, Pfizer went into a phase one uh, in glioblastoma patients mm -hmm. as a monotherapy. One of the reasons is that they, our compound is differentiated compared to the competitors in so far that it crossed a blood-brain barrier. Okay. So we want to see whether, or Pfizer and us want to see whether there is a a potential for um, having an immune response against metastatic disease that could be in the brain. So what we, uh, the first uh, trials in phase one is in glioblastoma, so because we want to assess in those patients the possibility to, to, for the compound to indeed expose the brain. So that's one benefit of the small molecule approach is yes, you, you yes, can treat indeed, neurological indeed, tumors, indeed. whereas antibodies, uh, they, they Neither tumors mm -hmm. nor other neurological diseases mm -hmm. have they been very mm -hmm. successful at. So th that, that's a, a real plus for, for your approach. Yep. And you said there you, you, you were one of the early companies into immune oncology and you, you've done a deal with, with Pfizer. Mm -hmm. um, is, is that the model for the company? You, do you intend to replicate that or, or do you want to become the company that takes the drugs to market? Um, we certainly want to go a bit farther than what we've done with Pfizer. Our IDO1 inhibitor was uh, partnered uh, when we were uh, at the early preclinical stage and um, this was due to the, the youth of the company and the fact that we didn't have all the bandwidth and the people in place to pursue it further. Uh, with a new uh, compound within our pipeline we want to go at least to a phase two proof of concept so looking at efficacy or at least a molecular proof of concept that we can indeed uh, stimulate the immune system in a tumor setting. And if there are some um, potential smaller indication, we would like to, to continue ourselves to a marketing potential, to commercialization. And what's the long-term vision for the, for the company as a whole? Um, Com long-term vision is really to have a, a perennial company, a company that have a, a portfolio that can sustain itself. So by you know, bringing new compound to the clinic, demonstrating efficacy, partnering, uh, especially for the large indication, which would be very challenging financially for us potentially going to commercialization for uh, smaller, more niche indication. Uh, we, want, we are putting effort uh, into target discovery through grants that are distributed by the Walloon region in Belgium that allow us to, uh, to fuel the early pipeline and to do new target discovery. But all in oncology or will you take it to all in o All in oncology, oncology, in oncology. We've, we've set up um, um, a drug discovery, a target discovery platform, I should say, rather that um, recapitulate the immune contexture of the tumor, where you can see immune suppression at play. And so we can use this platform with SHRNA or with small molecules to an antibody to, um, to identify novel targets uh, for immune suppression, for, for immune oncology. Well, Christoph, we'll look, we'll look forward to hearing more about um, your current molecules in the clinic and, and, and new biologics and small molecules that, that um, you bring to, to help the, with the fight against a, a range of cancers. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. For more information about Pharma Ventures, visit our website.